Greetings, greetings, brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> I had to step off for a little bit. I'm back on. Glory be to God. Blessings to each and everybody. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to the Lamb of God on this beautiful Tuesday. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, brothers and sisters, please hit the bell. King Ryan, K-Y-N-G-R-Y-A-N. I hope you all are doing well. Just want to give some people some time to come in. Yes, 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 yes. Praise be unto God for my life. Thank you all for joining in on the broadcast. On those who have an ear, let them hear Jesus. Judgment Day is going to be very interesting. Judgment Day is coming soon. Kingdom Green, Sister Terry Ann. God bless you. God bless each and everybody on this wonderful Tuesday that God has given us. Another day to get right. Another day to change something that you need to change and get right with the Lord. Uh, thank you all for being able to join in. I just want to let some other people join in. Uh, there is an attack, brothers and sisters, on all men. There is a war for your soul. There is a war for your soul, brothers and sisters, young people, all ages, all nationalities under the sun. We are in between, but God in heaven and Satan Abaddon, Apollyon. Those are other names for the devil. We are in between. God is in the heavens. There is a war on creation, on God's creations. There is a war on God's creations. There's a war for the young people. But let me first start off, glory be to God, by speaking about our young people. Have you ever wondered? And this is going to be it's going to be really raw and very interesting. Have you ever wondered why we have a lot more young people shot dead? You have a lot of elderly people marching these young people to the graves. Do you want to know why? Because the generations under me cuz I'm about to be 30 Generations under me 15 years ago, like the 15, 16 year olds, 17 year olds that's graduating. The devil knows that God wants to use the next generation. The devil knows that. So this is why young people, parents, this is why we have a lot of dead young people. Because the God Wants to use the, the young generation. Satan knows it. So what is Satan doing nowadays? You can look in, in the past in retrospect. When I was growing up in the 90s. I graduated in the year 2009. You did not see so much sin as you see it now. You didn't see so much rebellion like you see it now. You didn't see so much disobedience from children like you see it now. You didn't see so many young girls getting pregnant like you see it now. You didn't see so many young people dying, even though it was happening. But when you look in the future right now in 2020, just look around on how much oppression is on our young people today. Because I'm letting you know why it's so much oppression. I'm letting you know why there's so many attacks on the young people because the devil wants to destroy the next generation because the devil is looking up to the heavens. They're having a conversation while we are in the middle and in between. They're having a conversation. The devil's having a conversation with God and say, you know what? I hate your creations. Yes, that's right. I hate your creations. I hate that I'm kicked out of heaven and I don't have a future. My destiny is hell. So you want to know what? You want to know what, God? I declare war on your creations. I declare war on the Christians. I declare war because you, I'm kicked out of heaven because of my sin and what I did. I don't have a future. I can't repent like he or she can. 
So my job is to influence the nations. My job is to ascend like you, God, like I'm the most high, like in Isaiah 14 says, talks about the devil. How he wants to ascend and be like the most high, how he's weakening the nations. So he said, I know you want to use this next generation. So I got to, I got to attack them. Let me attack them with the music, the satanic music. Let me attack them. And let, he, she's supposed to be a prophetess. She's supposed to be going to college and doing some things for the Lord. Let me send a dude in her life to get her pregnant and have a baby out of wedlock. Oh, let, 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 let me work on this dude right here. Let me work on this young man. Let me, let me send the wrong type of people in his life. Let me get him hooked on drugs, hooked on crack cocaine. Let me, let me, let me, I'm, I'm going to talk to him and, and, and influence him to shoot up. I'm going to send my service. I'm going to send my agents towards you. Towards he or she, because I hate you, God. I hate that I'm kicked out of heaven. I hate that I can't go to heaven. But you know what the opportunity you got? You got a chance to get right with God. You got a chance to repent. You got a chance to be baptized. You got a chance to turn away of thy wickedness. The devil don't got that chance no more. The devil don't have that chance at all. So this is why he know his time is coming up. He know the Lord draw nigh. When we see the signs and the wonders like the church is seeing, the Lord said, look up. Your Lord, our Lord, our Redeemer, draw nigh. This is why our young people is getting attacked mentally. This is why you can look at TV shows, look at music so filled up with trash. Filled up with demonic influence. And every time you young people, you die. It breaks the heart of God. And it saddens. It saddens your loved ones. But you know who gets happy when you die and sin? Young people. And all people under the sun. The devil gets excited. The devil gets happy. He's like, yes, I'm knocking God's creations off because I hate you, God. I'm going to knock off every creation that comes. Every, even a baby that comes out of the womb. Do y'all hear me? A child was born today. That child that was born today, whether a girl or fee, a, 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 a baby, baby boy or baby girl, the devil like, okay, I'm going to knock her off. I'm going to knock him off. I'm going to do everything I can to destroy because that's what I do. That's what I do. So brothers and sisters, I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's going on with anybody. But we got a devil. We got a, a Satan that, that, that's very serious about destroying you. We, we, we have an enemy that is very hungry of robbing you. John 10, 10, the devil comes to do what? Kill, steal, destroy. This is the reason why. The devil may be attacking some young people that's trying to get their life to Christ. The devil get mad when you give your life to Christ. The devil get mad. Him and his legion of demons is like, we, we, don't, want, we don't want him or her to find Christ. We don't want you to repent. We want you to pay attention to getting money. Pay attention to do everything else. Pay attention to the Black Lives Matter. Pay attention to everything else. Pay attention to all these movements. Pay attention to getting cars and clothes and looking swagged out and stuff like that. Pay attention. Put more attention in all of those things. Yeah. The devil, I'll blind you with all of those things because the thing that matters is your soul. Money, cars, and clothes don't matter. That don't matter, young child of God. But your soul does. And it is sad to hear a young person get killed, a young girl get raped, a young man get sodomized, a young person getting killed due to robbery and shootings in the streets. Do you know when you see all of this? It's Satan attacking our youth. This is why we need men of God, men and women of God, intercessoring for the youth. Our young people there are more built than the young people in my day. The young girls are, they, their bodies are more built, more shaped than in the younger days. 
This is the reason why young girls, please stop dressing like harlots. I even saw a man in the store with my wife looking at a young girl older than me because her pants was just gripping her buttocks. The devil is declaring war for your child. The devil is declaring war on you. This is the reason why rapings and things are happening. Young girls dressing like what they see on TV. And this is why the devil have these idols on TV. So you can follow them. Hang off of every word they say. And then end up in hell. Anything that you are consuming. Anything that you are watching. Anything that you are indulging in. You're either giving God to. You're even giving glory to the Lord. Or you're giving glory to Satan. You're either giving glory to God or either to Satan. Currently, how you live right now? Who's getting the glory out of your life? Who's getting the glory off of what you're talking about when you have conversations? Who's getting the glory off of what you're listening to? Who, which God is getting all of the praise by how you're living right now? I'm letting you know who your enemy is. It's the devil, our unseen enemy, the, the, the enemy that sinned from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, 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 Lucifer, yeah, the, the, the one that persuaded Adam and Eve, lied to him. And when you sin, you're of the devil. So who do you think gets the glory when you're listening to that music? Young people, when you're lighting up that joint smoking, which is a sign of sorcery and witchcraft. When you go smoking, you're opening up gateways for the for the adversary to come in your soul, to come in your temple. What does the temple of God have to do with idols? Then you're worshiping the idols. You're not you're, you're not guarding your heart. You're not guarding your eye gates. You're watching every little Luciferian deed that they do. You are inviting it in, you are inviting the spirits in when you're smoking. You're inviting this, 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 you're creating an atmosphere where Satan can dwell. So you're giving him praise. You got friends that's satanic. The spirits that's on them are coming on you. If you're weak, don't have the Holy Ghost. The devil like, yeah, the devil right in the midst. Woo, yeah. Next thing you know, pow, pow, you hear gunshots at a party. That's where the demons and the legion of, uh, 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 of the devil's agents and team, that's where they dwell. Why do you think that people of God worship God, speak in tongues, have worshiping music? The spirit of the Lord is ushered in. The spirit of the Lord is inviting. You're welcoming the spirit of God in the Holy Ghost. You're inviting them in. So God is getting the glory. You're inviting it in. Yes, God. Yes, God. Help us love on each other. People pray. That's a ritual. So what do you think you're doing, young people and people are all under the sun when you're listening to things, doing things that are satanic? You're opening up gateways for the devil to attack when you smoke, when you drink. Why do you think people are different people when they under the influence, under the influence? Remember the slogan, wine and spirits, wine and spirits. What type of spirit has overtaken you when you lit up that joint and when you got high? And when you got intoxicated, what has overtaken you spiritually? What has overtaken you for what you're viewing and watching, what you're listening to? You're opening up your soul and you're giving it. You're, you're, you're praising something when you open up your soul and listen and watch and say certain things and hear. There, it, it, the, the God of Sin is the devil, the God of raping and, and robbing and crime and smoking and getting high is Satan. Those are the he's the God of those spirits. Meekness, kindness, joy. The Bible says love is kind, patient. Love is not puffed up. The Lord says esteem others than yourself. The God over those spirits is the Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah, the God of peace. Deliverance, Jehovah. Do you know you are giving glory? You are created for the glory of God. But the devil want your love just like the Lord wants your love. Who is your Lord currently today in this hour? 
Right now, today, who is your God for real? And you want to know who is your God? Who can, You want to know how somebody can tell who your God is? Look in your phone. Look at who you talk to. Birds of a feather flock together. That's how you can tell who your God is. And a lot of y'all watching this, you think that you know God and that you're on your way to the kingdom. But sad to say, the Lord's like, I don't know you. The, the devil's like, look at her. Look at her. She says she's supposed to be studying. Look at her sneaking out the house. Look at her, God. Can I do something to him? Can I do something to her? They disobedient. I want to, I, I, I just, I just want to destroy him. Do you know that the devil is going to be in hell too? Who is really in control? Do you know that the devil, his angels, and those who reject God are going to be thrown in the lake of fire? So who is in control in our actuality? Not Satan. The Lord is. Notice what I'm reenacting. The devil got to talk to God about what can he do. The devil can't go no further than what God allows him to do. So the devil talking to the Lord saying, oh, look at him in the streets. His mama, his daddy, his pastor told him to stop hanging out in the streets. Told him to hang up the blood in the crib rag. It's still walking around carrying it. Talking about they banging, set banging. Can, can I do something, God? You can. I'm going to allow it. But you can't kill him or her. See, a lot of y'all say the devil doing something to y'all, but God is allowing some of the things to happen to chastise you. God allowed you to go to jail to chastise you. God allowed you to get shot, but the bullets did not kill you. The weapon was formed, but it did not prosper. That's why some of you all are here. Girl, boy, women, man, all over the sun. It's a blessing. God got some of you here because he did that. He allowed those things to happen to Humble you. He allowed some of those things to happen in your life to humble you. He allowed the devil to do just enough to humble you, to get you out of the streets, to get you around those people. He chastised who he loves. That's a beautiful thing because if God did not love you, did not care about your soul, he would have let you die. He would have just, that's it. The deaf angels would have came. Let's go. Do you know judgment day is going to be so spectacular for those who live holy? And it's going to be people in terror for them that live ungodly, for them that live unrighteous, for them that had a heart and heart stubborn, full of pride. They're going to be in terror. Do you know that it's going to be children in hell? Do you know that God is going to hold the parents accountable for not telling their kids about the Lord? They're going to be there are young people that are dead right now. Go bust hell, burn wide open due to the parents not telling them nothing. And also due to some of the young people being hard headed. You can't lie to God. You cannot lie to the Lord. You cannot say, I did not hear this. I did not know this. God is going to show you who sold into your life the word of God. Who gave you a word of wisdom? Who gave you some truth? The Lord is going to bring it back, sister and brother. My beloved, replay it. Let me take you back to the time where you was told to stop hanging out. Let me take you back to the time when I told you not to go in that corner. Let me take you back to the time when I told you... To the Lord is going to replay every deed, everything that is said and done. None of us ain't get, we're we, we not escaping none of this. No one is. Y'all hear what's being said. No one. No one. No one is escaping <laughs> what every man got to face. And the Lord's like, I've been warning you. 
This is a warning right now to the young people. Men, women, all over the world. This is a warning. Choose ye this day who you really. Choose ye this night. Really who you going to start really living for. Because someone has your love currently right now. And if you can be honest with yourself, if you can really be honest with yourself, you'll be like, wow, the Lord really doesn't have my love. The Lord really doesn't have my love. <laughs> you currently living unholy and ungodly right now. You're not on your way to heaven. Now, I tell y'all this because that's love right there. I tell y'all this because I love you all. This is why I tell you, if you close your eyes, breathe your last breath, and your last breath is you doing something that is sinful and ungodly, do you know that after you're done breathing your last breath, the last breath you will breathe in this body, do you know after that, that's it? Do you know after that, that's it? Do you know there's no coming back? You know that, right? You know once the Lord says, Spirit, come out. Come on. I'm calling for your soul. Do you know that's it for you? It's really going to, it, Judgment Day is really going to be big. Mm hmm. <laughs> my God, my God. And you better do everything in your power. Remember, this time is the Lord's. Do everything in your power on which God gives you to get yourself together. Do everything in your power. Do you understand that you can't buy your way to heaven? Do you understand you can't? Yeah, because you got uh, 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 churches and houses. You can't bribe God. Do you know that, right? You can bribe a man or a woman with a checkbook. You can bribe a man or a woman with some sex. You can bribe a man or a woman. You know what I mean? Like, come on, hook me up. You feel me? You can't do that to God. You, 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 you cannot stand before God. I don't, the Lord don't care how many girls you had. The Lord don't care how many men you had. The, the Lord don't care how many jobs you had, how much money you had. The Lord going to ask you when you stand before him, were you holy? Did you live holy? Well, I don't believe that there is a God. Fools say in their heart that there is no Lord. Fools say that. I'm trying to tell y'all that Judgment Day is going to be something to see. I'm trying to sit here and tell you who is your God. If God is not in your heart, <laughs> you're not going to reign with him. Young people, this is urgent for you all. Please warn, tell your brothers, tell your homeboys, your homegirls, because the devil is going to continue to keep attacking our young people. This is why we have to pray for our young people, parents. We have to tell them about the ways of the Lord. Every little thing you done show a young person. Parents, be careful about what you're doing, too, because every little thing that you're showing a young person and God don't agree with it, you're going to be held accountable. Parents who are teaching their kids to get drunk. Parents who are teaching their kids to, oh, they can smoke. They around me. Do you know that you're opening up? Like smoking is sorcery. It's a sign of sorcery, witchcraft. Why do you think people sometimes are, get depressed? Do you know that demons latch on? But there are some parents that say, I don't mind long as they're not doing it outside in the streets. You don't know that you're opening up a lot of gateway doors for the enemy, the devil, the adversary. 
to reap havoc over your young soul? Do you know that, parents? Oh, they can have sex. It don't matter. Long as they can do it upstairs, as long as they're not doing it out there. So commit fornication, sexual immorality in the house. God, you think God pleased with that, right? I raise my kids how I want to. You really do. But I'm going to let you know something. You got to stand before the master. <laughs> do you realize that God is in control of where you go, right? I just, I just want to paint a, a vivid picture. The Lord is in control of where you go based on how you live. Based on how you live, God going to send you there based on how you live. So that shows that you are, you, you have a choice where you don't, where you're going to spend eternity. You make that choice right now. And you're making that choice on how you're living. You're making that choice on what you're doing. So parents, sad to say it's a lot of parents not just letting their children perish. Just letting your child perish out of your ignorance. You're letting your child run around doing whatever they want to do, trying to be their friend. God put you here, parent, to be watchmen, to be a guardian, to be a protector, to be vigilant over their soul. Because you want to be their friend. You want to let them have some freedom. The devil going to go right on out there. They're going to walk on right, right out there. Walk right into the hands of the devil because you want to be so freelancing, free spirited. But by you being free spirited, you're opening up yourself to other spirits instead of the Holy Spirit. So because you are that way, you're going to let your child be that way. And the devil like, I got her. I got her. I got him. The devil like, I got her. I got him. I come to kill, steal, and destroy. I told you, God, I hate your creations. You kicked me out of heaven because I had pride. I had lust. I was kicked out of heaven. Third of the angels was kicked out of heaven. I got pride, so I'm going to rob your daughter. I'm going to rob your son. I'm going to rob him. I'm going to make him believe that he's homosexual. I'm a, he, he a man? I'm going to make him think he a woman. She a woman? I'm going to make her think he a, she a man. Only I can do that. I'm the God of perversity. I'm the God that destroys. I'm Satan. When y'all go start waking up and realizing that it ain't about no skin color. It ain't about no skin color. When y'all gonna wake up and start realizing that? All these movements, you need to ignore them because the devil using that to distract you. It ain't about no skin color. Because if anybody that's racist don't repent, do you know you got to stand before God? Do you know all y'all bigots? You got to stand before Christ. <laughs> Do you know all that deceiving people in the name of Jesus? You got to go before God. You got to go before God. All that deceiving people in the name of Jesus Christ. Those Ku Klux Klan's with the, with the hats on their head talking about they Christians. You going to go stand before God. Hating black people. Black people hating white people. You got to go before God. And if you're hatred, you got hatred in your heart, you're going to hell, no matter what color you are. Do you understand that God has no respect to other persons? The Lord don't care about no Barack Obama. The Lord don't care if you're Donald Trump. The Lord don't care if you're no rapper. The Lord don't care if you're Tupac Shakur. You got to stand before God. The Bible says, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Them that were popular, them were that were unpopular. Them that got a lot of followers, them that don't got a lot of followers. All got to stand before God. And the books are going to be open on account of your life. The Lord going to show you when somebody tried to warn you and say, sister, stop doing that. You're living wrong. You're living ungodly. Hey, brother, stop doing that. God ain't pleased with that. And you can't stand before God and say, I did not know. The Lord is going to replay, hallelujah, every deed, every thought, everything you did in private. The Lord is going to replay everything that you've done and said, glory be to God. So when will you 
wake up and choose who really is your God. I'm not talking about saying amen. I'm not talking about sharing and liking. I'm talking about living for God for real because the only person who's going to be deceived is you. You can make people believe you holy and love God all you want to. But if God is not pleased and persuaded with your life, <laughs> you're going to hell. I'm going to say that again because I don't know if some people follow me. If God is not persuaded, you're doing all you can to persuade people that you saved. When it aiming up the people, the last word is God's. Do you understand me? So you can do all you can to persuade people that you're living right and righteous. But when you stand before God, the Lord going to open up that book. <laughs> yeah, he is. God sent his people to warn the world of their wickedness so that they can get right back in alignment and get on God's side. God ain't send no preachers to preach no money. He didn't send a preacher to tell you how to get rich. God, Jehovah, Yahweh, he sent his prophets and apostles to warn the world to get on God's side before you feel God's wrath. So you better stop listening to them people that's telling you how to get money. Five step program on how to get wealth. That's not a preacher that's sent from God and sent from heaven. They are preaching, but they sent from the God of this world, which is the devil. If you don't believe that the devil is the God of this world, let me read it to you in scripture. Many people love to say this Bible is written by man. Yeah, it's written by men who had God's spirit in them. God was in them and led them to write what they wrote. These not regular men. These are men of God that were born again. Had the Holy Spirit. These not just regular people. Just got to clear that up for the people that love to throw that out there. These are not regular men. Just like I'm not a regular dude. I gave my life to the Lord. Got repented, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So all that, all that worldly stuff goes out of the window. When you come on the Lord's side. When you come on the Lord's side, you change all that. All that changes. Amen. Hallelujah. Got to clear that up. Got to clear that up. I hope the stubbornness in your heart is being broken today. I hope you really choose and make up in your mind who is really your Lord. Excuse me. God did not struggle to wake you up today. So stop struggling to serve him. God did not struggle to get you up out of the bed. You can say your alarm clock dated, but if God would have said, don't wake up, your alarm clock would have went off and you would never been moving. Do you realize that? Do you hear me? You can set your alarm. You can set 30,000 alarms in your room. If God tell your spirit to come out, don't wake up, come unto me. It's time. You ain't getting up. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? Do you realize you can set any alarm all you want? If God say, don't wake up, you ain't, get, you ain't getting up. <laughs> Somebody could come in there with pots and pans and be banging it. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going to say it again. If God say to your soul, because he created your soul, the Bible says all souls belong to me. But the Lord had to create a place for them that don't want him. He created hell for the devil and his angels. But the Lord knows that there are going to be certain souls that don't want to go with him, that don't want to follow him. So you're going to be tossed in there with him. So if the Lord don't say, if the Lord say don't get up, you ain't getting up. But I wonder if that was to happen. Did you give your life to him? Did you do what Peter said in Acts 2.38? And Peter said unto them, repent. What does repent mean? Repent means be sorry for your wrongs. Be sorry for lying. Be sorry for cheating. Be sorry for smashing different women, smashing different men. Be sorry for smoking and selling drugs. Be sorry for gangbanging. That's what repent means. You got to repent. Be sorry for being a whoremonger. Be sorry for being a player. Hallelujah. Be sorry for being a stripper. Be sorry for being a prostitute. Glory be to God. Be sorry for shooting and robbing people who ain't do nothing to you. You got to be sorry before you stand before God. Then go be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so your sins can be forgiven and can be washed away. 
That's what repentance means. That's what repentance means. <laughs> Amen. That that what it mean. You 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 got to be sorry for what you're doing. You, you got to be sorry for watching that porn. You got you got to be sorry for masturbating. You 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 got to be sorry for being homosexual. You <laughs> you ain't getting into the kingdom like that. No, no. Got I got to let I got to let let you know. The devil got a war over your soul. The devil's declaring war on God's creations. No matter where you're at, Spanish, black, Haitian, don't matter what you are. Don't matter what you are, who you are, you got to stand before God. The Lord don't care how far you are. All right? The Lord is going to find you. You're going to stand before God. Hallelujah. You got to stand before God. You can act all big and bad all you want to. When you stand before God, you're going to be like a little church mouse standing before God. You can't run away. You're just going to have to stand there before the Lord. And you got to give an account of what you did, what you said, how you treated people, how your heart really was. The Lord going to the Lord going to replay back how you put on a visage and infiltrated like you was all good. The Lord going to be like, you really was a wolf. You was a devil. The Lord going to do that to all men and women who think they're getting away. You think you're getting away for killing people and, and shedding innocent blood? No, all sin is going to be judged. All sin will not go unpunished. That's what the word of God said. Amen. You better get your relationship with God. You got a relationship with too many people. You got better relationship with your job, your boss, girls. Men got a got a relationship with everybody else, but you better get your relationship right with God. But you ain't gonna come with you not you not gonna reign with him. I don't care how many amens, hallelujahs you say. If your heart still ain't right with God, you're not going with the Lord. You can do all that all you want to. The devil know how to say amen and hallelujah. The devil know how to say Jesus, Jesus, amen, glory, <clears throat> glory be to God. <clears throat> the devil know how to do all of that. That doesn't mean nothing. <laughs> that don't mean nothing okay just gotta let y'all know to stop playing with your soul stop playing with your soul today stop playing with your soul today it's not by accident you sitting here watching this stop playing with your soul and get right with god for real second corinthians 4 4 glory be unto god in whom the god of this world see many people say man the god of this world man i thought it was god no he's the god of the universe the God of this world. That's why you see it's so much sin in the world. Second Corinthians 4.4. 4, in whom the God, little g, of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. You wonder why you run across a lot of people that's blinded. You showing them and pointing them at their sins just to try to help them. Not to try to bash them or condemn them. You want to know why they're blind? I'm going to read it again. Hold up. Don't take my word. 2 Corinthians 4, 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. The Bible just told you. The Holy Ghost just told you from the word of God. Through the apostles. Apostle Paul. Just let you know. Who's the God of this world. This is the reason why they love abortions. They love gay pride parades. <laughs> this is the reason why you can be preaching the gospel and they can say F you because it's going to be scoffers walking in their own lust in the last day, scoffing at them that live holy. The Bible says them that live godly will suffer persecution. You're going to be persecuted for following Christ. Hmm. Just got to let y'all know, as a servant from God, that our young people, that our young people and people in general, the devil declared war. The devil really get mad when you get born again. The 
the devil really get mad when you get born again? You think he, you, you think he upset with you now? He upset with you hearing his message. But when you make a true decision to be born again and give your life to the Lord, give your heart to God, give your mind to God. The devil, get he going to get really mad at you. He's going to be trying to attack you, all types of stuff. Because a lot of us can say that we're serious and we want to get right with God. I used to say that. I used to play church. I used to do all that stuff. But when you really start saying it and mean it here in your heart, that's when the attack's going to happen from the enemy. Because he's trying to get you to go back to how you used to be. Because a lot of us have said it and go through the motions and say, oh, I'm getting my life right with God, blah, 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 blah. And go right back to do the same thing because I've been there before. But when I started really seeing that I was on my way to hell <laughs> and I was playing church, I was infiltrating something that I wasn't. Yup, that's right. Amen, Brother George. I got baptized before and I was just going through the motions. I didn't even understand what I was doing. I still went back to sin, still was doing whatever I want to do. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. God convicted my heart. God even showed me a vision of myself. I'm like, I got to change, man. Because I'm telling y'all. The most saddest, scariest thing to hear. Is the part away from me, work of iniquity. I don't know you. That is the scariest thing to hear. So why you want to rob yourself? Why do you want to rob your own chances from getting into the kingdom of God? Because you want to play church front like you saved instead of actually living saved. You better understand that every day you wake up, it's a war on your soul. Every day you wake up, it's a war over your soul. Which God you're giving your love to? Which God you are giving your love to? I'm talking to the young people because I'm telling you, the devil is after a lot of young people. A lot of young people. A lot of young people. Young people! Get yourself right with God. Stop worrying about boyfriends and girlfriends and worrying about jobs and cars and how many followers you got on TikTok. How many Jordans you got? How many likes you got on Instagram? Young people, hear me. The devil is after your generation. Get your soul right with God so you can lead other young people to the kingdom of God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Matthew 6, 33, young people, you not too young or not too old to go to hell. It's going to be young people. <clears throat> it's going to be young people in hell due to being hard headed, living fast, fast life. And the Bible says there's a way that seemeth right unto a man. But at the ending, there are the ways of death. This is the reason why we see a lot of youngins going to the grave. Before they own grandma. Living fast. Don't want to listen to nobody. We live in a puffed up prideful generation. Pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before destruction. Young people change your ways. Stop giving the devil access to your life. How? How? Brother King, why ain't the devil giving access to my life? Glad you asked that question. Let me elaborate and expound this for you. Like I was just informing you. Music, things you watch, people you hang around, deeds you participate in. That's how you're giving the devil access to your soul. The devil can't force you to do something, but sin is the gateway for him to come in your life. Sin enables Satan and his demons to invade, destroy your life. By the sins you do. By the things you talk about. By the things you watch. Stuff you listen to. You allow Satan or God. In your soul. So I want you to ask yourself. All people. Where currently are you at? If the Lord will come. 
Do you know where you're going? Like you know you're going to work? Like you know you're trying to do this? Do you know you're going with the king? Eternal life matters. Everybody hollering what lies matter. But eternal life matters. Everybody, everybody hollering what lives matter. That's fine. That's good. That's good. But eternal life matters. Where you spending eternity? Huh? What's going on, Junior? Going on, peeps? God bless you, man. Yep. I know kids dying a lot over there in Chirac, in Chicago. They're like people dying in my hood in, in Florida. Because the devil... The devil like, yeah. <laughs> when a soul dies in sin, the devil like, I win. I got another creation from you, God. <laughs> I got another creation. That person was hard-headed. Didn't want to listen. Come on to me. Diablo. Come on. The devil knocking off young people left and right. Time to get with God. Young people, get with God. Get somebody that want God. Preach the word. More than you saying these foolish songs on the radio that the government, and I love to say this all the time to the young people, the devil paying these people that sold they sold to Hollywood to make music for the young people and all people to burn right in hell. Because anything that you listening and watching and believing and consuming is either going to damn you or send you to the kingdom. You either going to the kingdom or you either going to the uh, going to Hades, the place of the dead, the place of Sheol. You either going to two places once your soul leave your body. Don't worry about nobody else. Worry about if you're right with God. Time to seek the Lord. You're not going to always have time to seek the Lord, young people. Y'all think that tomorrow's promise, tomorrow not promised to nobody? Who lied to you? I thank God I made it to see 29. Praise the Lord. Not in jail. Not shot at. None of these type of things. Praise be unto God because I know some classmates that's dead already. They didn't even make it to see 25. So it's a blessing to still be here. Mary. Living for God. Stop living for myself and start living for God. Living for my creator. This is what you need to do. I used to live for myself. <laughs> mm -mm. Not when you come on the kingdom. When you come on the side of the kingdom and get born again. It's time to seek the Lord. Repent, repent. Time for you to seek God now. Nah, the Lord done saved you. The Lord done been good to you. And it's time for you to seek the Lord. The Lord been good to you when you wasn't even thanking him. You didn't even have a thought of praising the Lord. And the Lord still gave you life. The Lord still gave you breath. The Lord still bless you with many and multiple things. But you won't live for him. You won't serve him. You won't repent of your sins. It's time for you to seek the Lord. You want to come in the kingdom? Seek my face. Amen. The Lord been good to you when you wasn't even good to your own self. You was you was uh, 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 afflicting your own soul because you was addicted to drugs. So you used to shoot up and your skin you used to play with coat, play with your nose. And the Lord still got you. Your heart probably stopped. The Lord brought you back. You better seek the Lord and give God his praise and give God glory. Keep on walking in sin. You're going to die in your sin and you're going to bust hell wide open. Time for you to seek the Lord. You done mess with so many women supposed to be sick with AIDS and gonorrhea and crabs and the Lord spared your life. Hallelujah. Y young brother, young sister, you've been fast sleeping around, sneaking boys and girls in your house when your parents go to work out of town and you had a miscarriage. I know it was sad. I know it broke your heart, but the Lord was sparing you because you wasn't ready. You wasn't mentally ready. You wasn't financially ready. You wasn't physically ready. You could not even fathom to take care of a child. You better seek the Lord, young brother, young sister. Stop playing. You better seek the Lord. Even in your wickedness, God was saving you. It was a point of time where the Lord winked. Let's go to Acts 17, verse 30. Amen. I'm about to get on about a hill. But before I leave, you got to get the word. You all got to get that word. Amen. Amen. Let's go to, let's go to Acts 17, 30. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is going to clear up what I said. Acts 17, verse 30. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at. See, when you're ignorant, God winking at it. The Lord know who don't know better and who know better. Because the Lord subconsciously put that in our conscience. Before I knew who Jesus was, I knew from right from wrong. My mama taught me from right from wrong, just like you. So you can't stand before God. There's, no God, there's not going to be any excuses. It's not going to be any excuses when you stand before God. The Lord going to show you if your grandmama told you about him, if, if your mom and dad told you about him. You cannot make an excuse before God. Hallelujah. Acts 17 verse 30. In the times of this ignorance, God winked at. God winking at a lot of y'all ignorance because he know you don't know better. But now, hallelujah, but now command of all men everywhere to do what? Repent. There was a time where I used to let you slide, get away. Do you understand the word of God says command? A commandment means you must obey it. You must follow. It is urgent. But now, glory be to God, tonight. But now, command of all men everywhere to repent. When you going to repent? The Lord waiting on you. Because he loves you. Who's your Lord? Amen. Who's your, who's your Lord? Turn off that music. That's, that's not giving God glory. You're serving the devil. Get, throw, throw the weed in the trash. Throw the weed in the trash. Throw, throw, throw the blood in the crypts, rag in the garbage. Throw that away. Get all the chicks at your phone number. Because you keep sleeping with them. You're opening, up your, you're opening up your soul to all the men she slept with. You better stop sleeping with them women because you're opening up your soul to all the men and all the women he and she slept with. Time to get away. Time to seek the Lord. The Lord made your body. The Lord didn't make your body to tat it up. Hallelujah. He said, don't put any markings and cuttings in your flesh. Hallelujah. It's time for you to give your body to God. Hallelujah. You've been listening to gossip and lies too much. Give your mind to God. Let this mind be in you. Pastor, also in Christ Jesus. Time to give your mind to God. Hallelujah. You've been cursing people out with the mouth. Hallelujah. That God gave you. Glory be to God. You've been cursing a lot of people out with the mouth God gave you. The word says bitter and sweet water can't flow from the same fountain. Time for you to start praising people. Time for you to start praising God and praying for people. Excuse me. Time for you to stop cursing people out and start praying for people. Hallelujah. And start giving God glory with your tongue. Hallelujah. Time for you to stop giving head and oral sex. Stop doing all of those things with your mouth that God gave you. Glory be to God. Time for you to stop participating in homosexual acts. God didn't make you to love a man. It says the woman was made for the man. Get rid of homosexuality. Glory be unto God. The Lord made your body for his usage. The Lord chose you. The Lord sanctified you. The Lord redeemed you. Glory be to God. Don't let the sacrifice of what Jesus did go to waste. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord winked at it. But command of, but now command of all men everywhere to repent. I leave y'all with that. Hallelujah. I leave you with that. I leave y'all with that. This is the word that need to be preached in church. This is the revival word to get you really right with God. You need that message that's going to hit and penetrate the soul to get right with God. Hallelujah. This is the word that I was sitting under. That's what got me right with God. Hallelujah. Because when you stand before the Lord, hallelujah, he's either going to say, well done or depart. You work of lawlessness, child of Satan. Oh, I went to church every day, but you was gay. I went to church every week, but you was a homosexual. I went to church every week, but you gamble. I went to church every week, but you was unforgiveness, hateful, jealous, racist. I went to church every week. You're living together, not married. I went to church every week. You're fornicating. I went to church every week. You're worshiping other gods, committing adultery, having idols. Tear down your idols. You still kept your idols up. You love rappers and celebrities more than God. Time to seek the Lord now. I winked at it. I gave you grace. I gave you mercy. The time is up. Go, deaf angels, go get him or her. They don't want to listen. They don't want to live godly. They being lazy. They scared to preach the gospel. They denying me in front of people. Hallelujah. I deny you when you stand before me. You go to hell. You deny me on earth. I deny you. you, you go to hell. Amen.
Hallelujah. This is what's going to happen. This is reality. Whose side you want to be on today? Who, who, who's, whose side you want to be on today? Amen. We'll work for Jesus. You see the shirt? We'll work for Jesus. Hallelujah. When you going to start working for Jesus? You've been working for your boss, man. You've been working for your boss, man. You want to get that check. I want to work for Jesus so I can get the kingdom. Which one? Which one you want? Yeah, I got to get that check and get that money, but <laughs> and I want to get into the kingdom. How about you? Come join me. Come join me. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Acts 2.38. And Peter said unto them, repent. And Peter said unto them, repent. Amen. Let not sin reign in your mortal body. Time for you to seek the Lord. Now, your body was made for God. Your body wasn't made to be gay. Your body wasn't made to be smoking. Your body wasn't made to tie it up. Your body wasn't made to lay with every and any woman, sleep with anything that got legs and that's walking. God ain't make you for that. God ain't make you for that. He ain't make your eyes to look at porn and to look arrogant and look down at people like they nothing. God didn't make you like that. Amen. You don't let the devil rob you. You don't let the devil destroy you. You don't. God done gave you life, gave you time, and you let the devil destroy you and take advantage of you. Because you need to get your life right with God. Harden not your heart any longer. Give your life to God. Hallelujah. Your creator. Young people. Young people. The devil after your soul. Young people. Young people. You're not too young to burn in hell. Get your life right with God. Just like you're trying to seek to go to college. That's good. Seek to get a job. That's fine. Get you a car. Car note. Get your money up. Nothing wrong with that. But make the most important decision you ever did in your life. And that's not buying nothing to eat. <laughs> That's not getting an oil change, going to a doctor's appointment. All right, that's good. That's fine. That's good. But make sure you give your life, your heart, your soul, your mind, your body to your creator, which is the Lord. This is your brother, King Ryan. Working for Jesus, as the shirt says, because the Lord got good benefits. Y'all see that? We'll work for Jesus because the Lord got good benefits. Yes, he does. He does. Better benefits than the 401k plan. The kingdom of God is better than the 401k plan. <laughs> the kingdom of God is way better than the 401k plan. Amen. <laughs> I got streets of gold mansions. Hallelujah. I'm spending time with Jesus. My rest of my life for eternity with Jesus. No more sadness. No more sickness. No more tears. Hallelujah. I love you too, Brother George Taylor. No more sadness. No more tears. No more hatred. Glory be unto the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm working for Jesus. He got some good benefits. Amen. I, I, I want to work for him. The Lord Jesus is greater than 401k. Amen. Jesus is better than sex. Amen. Jesus is better than, 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 than you smoking weed and all this type of stuff. Amen. Jesus is better than me watching porn. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is better than you masturbating. Amen. Hallelujah. Time to get your life right with God. Time to get your life right with God. See what God really got for you when you turn away from wickedness. When you turn away from ungodliness, when you turn away from sin, young people, old people, short people, tall people, no matter where you come from, you will really see what God got for you when you turn away from ungodliness. Because the devil and the Lord has declared war over your soul, especially when you get your life right with God. Like as I said, this is your brother King Ryan. Pray for me that I stay walking up right. Amen. I pray that you will make a commitment, not think and try. Because the devil not trying and thinking to rob you. You need to make up in your mind. I beseech you. Get your soul and your life right with God. I love you all. This is why the word of God uh, is being told to you. Because I care for your soul just like Jesus Christ does. Just like God does. That's why the God of the universe, our Lord, came up with a plan to send Jesus Christ to reconcile you to himself. You better take advantage and get to know your Lord better than you know people. Better than you know girls and boys and you better get to know Jesus Christ because he is the one that can get you to the father. No man can come unto the father but by me. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. 
No man can come unto the Father but by me, not by Buddha, not by Hamid. Mm -mm. No man can come unto the Father but by the name of Jesus Christ. Not by Buddha, not Muhammad. Mm -mm. Not Allah. Mm -mm. No man can come unto the Father. You gotta go. You, you gotta go through Jesus. You, you, you gotta come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus did say that. He's the door. Amen. Jesus is the door. There are not many ways to Jesus. There's only one way to the Father, and it's through Jesus. Don't listen to Oprah that said there are many ways to God. No, there's not. Jesus said, "I am the way." I am means singular, not plural. Jesus said, "I'm the way." You want to find peace? I'm the way. You want to find healing? I'm the way. You want to find redemption? It's through my blood. You want to find peace and stability, direction, love. It's in me. It's through me, beloved. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, brothers and sisters. King Ryan, K-Y-N-G-R-Y-A-N. I love you all. Thank you all for tuning into the broadcast. Those who have an ear, let them hear Jesus. Harder not your heart. By the grace of God, you'll be able to see me again. Be blessed in Jesus Christ. Holy and precious name. And I pray, God, that hearts were convicted tonight to get their life right. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that deliverance is taking places. The strongholds are being pulled down by the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who are under the sound of my voice, I pray, God, that you're convicting hearts to repent of thy wickedness and to come unto you. I love you, God. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be unto the Lamb of God. God bless.